Betty wins the tip. Misses the first shot of the game. Betty in black, trimmed in gold and white. Country Day in white, trimmed in blue. Still by Country Day. Stepped on the line.
Three ball, no good. Derek Carson with the rebound. Pass the head to Swanson. Put back by number two, Swanson. Timeout, country date. In and out. That was number two on the shot. Tito Wilson. Swanson, good move. Two points. Number 23, Cameron Connor. First shot good by Swanson. Substitutions in the game for both teams. Called on number 10, Sharon Finister, aka Spongy. Finister just Finister is a football player playing basketball, just came off for a visit to Missouri, University of Missouri. didn't have a basketball season last year due to COVID. Three ball, no good. Foul on the plate. Foul on number five, Derek Carson, push. I mix for three. No good. 
Ball goes out of bounds. The gesture will remain with Country Day Tigers. Technical foul call. Technical foul on number one, Ty Mix. Little trash talking happening on the court. Swanson will go to the line to shoot free throws for the Faraday Trojans. Up next, as Trojans versus the Wiseman Wildcats, the dub should be a really good game. The move by number 23 for Country Day, Cameron Connor. Derek Carson gives the Trojans a two point lead. Roster, roster, roster. Jump ball, possession will go to the Faraday Trojans. Kenya Milligan brings the ball across. Back, back 
to the top of the key. Elbow, Parsons recovers the air and pass. Three ball, Swanson, good. Back to back threes for the Trojans. Derek Carson with the block. Swanson to Milligan. Milligan shot no good. Foul gonna be on the other Swanson, Paul. Not a bad looking fair to Trojan team. Uh, Playing with high energy. Doing some things right. Nine on the game clock, six point lead for the pair of the Trojans. Still by Swanson. Milligan should have dumped it off to the cutter, number three, but he gets it anyway. Mitchell. Back to back rebound for the Trojans. Put back by number three, Dontavius Lewis. Swanson. And just like that, it's a 10 point lead for the Prairie Trojan. The Wildsman Wildcats are in the building. We officially have a ball game up next. Both teams are here. Wildsman football just lost out Friday night, so. Football players are back, and D. Wiseman Wildcats are in full force. We'll be back in a minute. Basket good. Two points by the Country Day Tigers. Parsons passes to the corner. Foul on number 23, Cameron Connor. Second foul on Connor. Milligan observes the court. Skip pass, corner, Swanson. Jump off. 
Swanson and Batiste tie up. Possession will go to Country Day. Today inbounds the ball, Tom Nix. Nix skips to the cross court, three ball, no good. Milligan gets the rebound for the Trojans. Passes the hand to Swanson, Swanson inside to Carson. Good big boy move by Carson, but you gotta finish. Ball stolen by Finister. Milligan recovers the ball pass. Thank you, bro. Hey, hey, if nothing else, man, you come to the Marksville tournament for the ambiance and the food. Man, they eat good here. Little banana pudding, y'all. Banana pudding coach just bought me a little bit. The legal block going against number 14, Darkest Batiste. Jerome Finister. 
looked like he was fouled on the play, but he got a foul called against him. I guess that's the way the old orange peel ball bounce sometimes. Ten point lead for the Trojans.
Trojans up 24-20. Shot no good. That was Milligan on the shot. Gary Carson's mid-range no good. Swanson almost gets the steal, but he does get a foul. See if we can uh, get an interview from somebody since he's here. If I can find him again. Oh, Carson. Cameron Connor with the basket. Twig! done a great job of controlling the ball game. Country Day looks like they're trying to make a ball game of it here early in the third. Gary Carson's with the three. Uh, joining us right now is Northwood Lena Gators head coach Brian Kerwilliger aka Twig. What's up bro? What's up coach? What's up coach? Man you hey you must have been doing some hell of a coach in the last few days. Man, look, Southwood, Southwood's a good team, man. Their 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 record right now, they're 0 and 3, and so it doesn't indicate right how, how good of a team they are. Um, I think they could, I think they could be something special down the road in February. Uh, they got some size. Uh, you know, the big sophomore they got, right? The right. Real, hey, man, he's a real deal. He can score the ball. Um, the, the, I think the issue right now is that they they just got a guy uh, cleared through the LHSAA. Yeah. And, and sometimes... Another big. They got another big sitting right now. Yeah, sometimes it, it takes a little while to get that continuity together, but we know that Coach Gultry is uh, really good at, at coaching basketball. Yeah. He is a student of the game and a workaholic. Yeah. So it, it's just a matter of time before he get those Southwood Cowboys together. Yeah, but man. we're not talking about Southwood right now. We're talking about Twig and the amazing things you've done since going to Northwood Lena. 3-0 right now early in the season. What has been your secret to success? Man, the goal is uh, when I first got there, which was in the summertime, just hit the ground running. You know, we got there and, and I put together a summer schedule and that was the thing, get the kids to know me, get the kids to, so I could I could know those kids and and man we've just built a relationship since I've been there in the summer and the goal is to make some noise in one A and I think us, uh, North Central, Arcadia, maybe White Castle, uh, you know, we're right there man and, and I hope to be at the top one or two spots when it's all said and done. And uh, I mean, we, we in, in one A, man, we can we can we can do some do something special. I, I I you know just I always look at stuff for from a um, not a glass half empty glass full perspective, but I, I think that sometimes when when you start off the way you guys have, and as long as things continue to flow that way, and you don't have any injuries and and you know, kids don't you don't lose kids to grades. Right. The 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 team should only get better right. and, and do even more greater things because now you're building that confidence that's needed for January, February, and a big one 
in, in the first week and a half in March. Right. And that's the important thing is lay the groundwork now, man. Lay the groundwork now and get the kids to believe that and see that now so that they know what they're working toward. Um, but yeah, we could do something special in one day, man, but we got Lakeview tomorrow night at Lakeview. Obviously, they're hosting their tournament. Uh, they're playing Southwood tonight. Lakeview is nothing to mess with, man. They're right. going to they, they're be something serious in 2A public. And, uh, man, they're going to get after it and work hard all game long. Um, so so Lakeview will be our, our, our next test tomorrow night. And uh, we're, we're looking forward to that. But, yeah, man, we feel like we can compete with anybody at Northwood. We, we can compete with anybody one through five. Right, right. Coach Brian Williams, um, Lakeview head coach, does a great job um, at motivating his kids. I, I've never seen a, a, a Lakeview team that had a great amount of size, but those kids always play hard. And they, can, they you know, it's not surprising to me, but they make shots. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. They, they've always been a, a really decent three-point shooting team since the first time I saw them. Right. And, and so you have to be mindful that you got to protect the 19-9. Right. And when you can play that fast, when you can play in transition that fast and, and, and hit threes while doing it, man, that's tough to guard. That's tough to guard. I, I know this is your first year at Northwood Lena, uh, but e even though you, uh, coaches or players may not may not like to say, fellas, 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 help me out, baby, help me out, baby. A lot of money being being lost here, huh? About ten thousand. That's it. Hey. Opie say, Opie say he don't beat Southwood and he can't speak no more. Wow. Said that. We, hey. We're in the middle of an interview, Coach. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey. Hey, we also in the middle of cold season. <laughs> it, ain't, it ain't because I'm yelling at my kids. It's because of cold season, man. I got no voice. I got a headache. I got no voice. It's it's a cold going around, Coach. You got to be yeah. careful. Milligan, too poor. Uh, I, I was asking you, Coach, about you know, first year at, at Northwood Lena, but everybody has those games that they looking forward to on the schedule. Um, just to, to see where you're at as a team, what what games have you secretly marked on the schedule that you, you, you're you looking forward to that says, hey, this is a tester game. Let me see where we're at and how we're gonna do against this level of competition. Yeah, a couple games stick out. One of them being tomorrow night at Lakeview. They came to our jamboree early on, and uh, after the 10 minutes expired, and after 10 minutes of playing in the jamboree, I think it was tied 22 to 22. So Coach Brian had put us on the schedule in their tournament uh, for tomorrow night at seven o'clock, which we're looking forward to. A couple other games that we're looking forward to is obviously Ash, when we play Ash at their right. place. It's always good to play an in-town team in Rapids Parish. Uh, and, and compete in town, you know, for bragging rights and things like that. And then um, also, I would be uh, remiss to say if I didn't say Menard. When we play Menard at the Ash tournament, you know those Menardians are going to pack the house over right. there at Ash, and they're going to want to play against me, and, they, and we're going to get their best. We're right. going to get those kids' best. And obviously, Daylin and Aiden Warren and Jacob Villar and Jock and Christian and Ben Carbo, those kids are going to come to play. Um, so those three really, Lakeview, uh, Ash and Menard are the three in the in the close future and in the near future here. And then, um, you know, looking down the road, uh, you got Natchitoches Central. Obviously, you play Pineville in 5A. So definitely some games there to circle and to be to be aware of for us. I, I definitely wanted to ask you <laughs> ask you if you guys scheduled Menard and what what are your you know what your thoughts were going to be about playing your old school because. That's going to be a high emotion night for you because you were there a lot of years and you built a lot of relationships there, not with just kids, but parents, wow. teachers, and administrators. So that, that's going to be a, 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 a teary night for you, I bet. Yeah, look, I'm excited to play Menard, man, and the, I owe everything to, to Menard, and it gave me my start for, for the first six years, and they, they did a good job with me. I did a good job with them, but like you said, a lot of relationships, not only with the kids, 
but with the administration, with the parents, and um, that's definitely one I'm looking forward to, just uh, in the relational aspect and playing my, my kids that I coached, but also just on the competitive aspect, and both teams are going to want to win that one. But I know right. Coach Trey Touche, coming from the Lafayette area, he does a really good job with them. He's got them disciplined. He's got them bought in. And uh, Menard is going to be uh, nothing to joke around with. They're going to play hard. They're going to play the right way. Right. So Coach Trey, Coach Trey is, is going to do a really good job with them. And, uh, again, that should be a good competitive game. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I, I agree with you. Uh, ch changing schools um, is never easy, but it's definitely always harder when you stay in the same area because uh, sometimes you open yourself up to undue criticism yeah. or, or just flat out jealousy. But you've handled it with style, grace, and honor. Um, Coach Swig, thank you for taking a moment with all the bench for Hey, go in the hospitality room. I'm going to buy you a water on me. All right, man. I appreciate, <laughs> I appreciate you, Hobart. No oh, doubt, man. Thank always, you. A, always a pleasure getting with Off the Bench Sports, man. You do a good job. Keep it up, man. So Thanks. we're looking Thanks. forward to seeing you through the season. Right, right. I hope I get a day or three in, 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 in Northwood, Lena. Absolutely. I, I, uh, I need to come visit you first, though, Absolutely. so we're going to schedule that first. We'll get together, brother. No doubt, man. Uh, tell Randy. I, I was just teasing. I'm not going to stop talking to you. All right. All right. The tip in by Sharon Finister.
Fairly to inbound the ball. Eight minutes remaining in regulation. Up next, Ash Trojan, the Wildman Wildcats. Should be a great one. Jerome Finister kicks it. Swanson to Milligan. Back to Swanson, the other Swanson. Milligan, the ball movement. Trojan expanded this game to 19 points. Started out at four at the beginning of the of the half. Three ball, Milligan, no good. Swanson gets the rebound for the Trojans, dumps it off to Finister. Finister gets the basket. I got somebody doing that. He gets on the break. Here. Hey, hold that ball, Mike. Trojans get a rebound, throws it off the head of number 13. Day Day Eddie. Substitution, Derek Carson, three end of the game. Number five, a Corian Smith to inbound the ball. Okay, change of play. Uh, Paul Swanson inbounds the ball to Demaria Swanson. Milligan to the corner. Traveling violation wasn't called inside the finisher. Two more points for Sharon Finister. Playing violation against the Country Day Tigers. 23 point lead for the Fairy Trojans. Finished at the line, plus one. Okay, no, I'm sorry, two shots. Finister misses his first shot. Second shot is no good as well. 6-12 on the game. Whoa, good hustle by Milligan. Deflects the ball out of bounds. Tito Wilson inbound to the ball, still by Paul, I'm sorry, Demario Swanson. Country Day, under six minutes remaining in the ball game. Time mix to inbound the ball for Country Day. Cheeto Wilson brings it across. Limon passes around. Smith, ball stolen. Two points. Last was good by DeMario Swanson. Pass ahead. 
Finister with the layup. Finister had intentions on ducking that one. Official timeout by the referee. Warning called against the Ferdy Trojans to lay a game. Tioga Indians in the building, foul call. like it went off white from this vantage point. Ball deflected out of bounds by Milligan. Back good by number 13, Day Day Eddie. Swanson to the lane, gets the little basket off the glass. Deflected out of bounds. Possession will remain with Country Day. Substitutions come in for the Fair the Trojans. by number three. Swanson to the basket, two more points. Trojan still continue the pressure. Milligan with the steal. Milligan misses the shot. Swanson to the basket, offensive foul or not. Foul called on number five, White. A Corian Smith send Paul, I'm sorry, Demarion Swanson to the line to shoot a pair of free throws. First free throw, no good. 324 on the game clock. Fourth period. Second shot good by Swanson. 20. 23 point lead for the Faraday Trojans. Shot no good by Eddie. Ty Mix, 
Adds two more points for his team. Trojans, three-pointer, no good. Rebound, Finister drops it off to Milligan. Milligan brings it back out. Swanson has the ball at the, at the top of the Tiger. Good patience by the Trojans. Floater, no good by Milligan. Eddie gets the rebound. Another steal for the Fairy Trojans. Good. That's how you be a good teammate, Milligan. Dump the ball off to number 11, Christopher Reed, who has played limited minutes tonight, but rewarded anyway. Thirty-three point lead for the Trojans. Two points. Substitution timeout. Trojans are clearing the bench. Man, I want to see Faraday again. I like it. I like what I saw. I'm, I'm excited about the next game as well. When are you going to give it to me? No, I need you to go get it though. Uh, up next. Ash Trojans, Wiseman Wildcats. Yes, it's going to be all that. Floater, no good. Time mix. Pulls it. Three ball, no good. Hey, 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 hey. Come this way, Make, make the horseshoe, yo. Three ball, mix, no good. Ball goes out of bounds. I swear if you play with me the damn way. Hey, I'm gonna give you another one later just because. Mix, about call for the foul on the plate. 34.8 left in regulation. Jimmy! Jimmy! Hey, fake college coach. Can I get the roster, please? Roster. Bruh! Pushing foul called against the Fairy Trojans. That's going to be the final here from Marsville. Country Day Tigers 28, Fairy Trojans 59, 31 point win for the Trojans. Called against Finister, that's gonna be the final. 